Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brandon, I'm designer slash gamer. And today we are building Bricksburg. How you guys doing? Where's our music? There we go. There's some music. <laughs> I got a haircut. I should say I gave myself a haircut. It's kind of hard to see because there's black space behind me, but you will see shortly when I load up Bricksburg how short my hair is. I buzzed it. It's very short. You can kind of see it. Look at that. Short. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi, how's it going, Holly? Holds. Luca. Hi, Moimus. What's up? How you guys doing? We get some builders in here. Speaking of builders, today we are placing one of my favorite buildings from our fellow builders. Brick Lab from Topple Knot. Some of you guys may know Topple Knot. He's created a bunch of LEGO Worlds videos and he's a fantastic builder. And we are going to place Brick Lab in Bricksburg today. We're also going to check out the latest progress on the labyrinth by our friend Ben. Are you here in the chat? Ben, say hi. Ben's a builder too, and he's building a really cool labyrinth under Area 51. So we'll do a whole feature video on that with a thumbnail and everything when we get when we get further along with that. Um, hey, Spy Boy, how's it going? Looking kind of sus. What? I'm looking sus. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's get started. All right, load game. Yes. So I've already built half of Brick Lab, and I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, the rest. I thought the perfect place for it. Let me turn the volume down to the music a little bit. I think the perfect place for Brick Lab is across from Ninjago City because it just looks like it fits in Ninjago City. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Where are we? Where are we in the universe? There we are. Bricksburg. Okay, let's head to Bricksburg. So, uh, hi. What's my favorite game? My favorite game? I don't know. Maybe The Sims? The Sims 4? Um, this game's pretty high up there. Animal Crossing. Ooh, Breath of the Wild. I have a lot of favorite games. I don't know if I could ever pick just one game. Okay, don't look yet. Don't look yet. You guys can't see it yet. <laughs> what you can look at, though, is Ninjago City in the context of where we're putting... Now you can see my hair. Look at that. Isn't it short? Look at my sh what do you, do you guys like it? Do you hate it? Tell me the truth. Be honest. You won't hurt my feelings for too long. What do you think? Good? Bad? Tell me. <laughs> Carter, hey, what, what's up? Welcome. First live stream. Awesome. Welcome. On Twitch, you could see it to win. You were playing. Yes, I was playing Among Us on Twitch yesterday. We had fun. Looks like you should do a prison episode. <laughs> what? Uh, your favorite character is the vampire. Neat. Kenza says, like I said yesterday, it looks good, yeah? But you can't do it because your girlfriend will get mad at you, right? <laughs> you got a Lego cup? Yay! Don't care. <laughs> Short hair, don't care. What? Are, what's your happy... Oh, that's your happy news. You got a Lego cup? Sweet! What's up, Gabriel? Hi. What can I do for you? <laughs> you look like a sheriff. I do. Yeah. So my hair got so long. And I didn't want to have to like deal with cutting it. So I was just like. Zzz. It's so nice not having hair. Trust me. It's so nice. It's the best thing ever. Hey. YJTJ animations. You like my haircut? Good. You, I put your lion. I put your lions in the labyrinth. Ooh. I can't wait to check out the labyrinth. He put. Sounds like Ben put Moimus's lions in the labyrinth. Oh my gosh. Spyboy says, "Well, they can't say you need a haircut anymore." No, they can't. They can't say that. They cannot. I don't. I have a hair. I. I. I have no hair to cut. Okay, you guys. So check this out. We're going to go into uh, vampire mode here. And we're going to check out how beautiful Ninjago City is. You know, it needs to be nighttime, maybe. Dude, would you just fly? There we go. Now we're good. That's nice. Okay, so this is Ninjago City. Right here in Bricksburg. And so I was thinking, with 
the way the city looks, the way the district looks, you know, kind of awesome and like modern and flashy with lots of bright lights, I figured the perfect place to put Brick Lab, because it's all those things, is right across from Ninjago City. What do you guys think about this? We need to build like, you know, entries and stuff, things like that. But I think this is the perfect spot. Look at that. We got a volcano in the background. I think it's perfect. Right by Jurassic World. We're going to have to put some, some uh, fences in there, though, so the dinosaurs don't try to escape because you know they will if they can. But how about that? Right behind Ninjago City. Oh. Huh. Right behind Ninjago City is Brick Lab. I think it's perfect. What do you guys think? You like the video? Oh, thank you! Yes, please, you guys, like the video and tell YouTube that my videos are good <laughs> so we can reach a wider audience. Speaking of which, you guys, we just passed 11, th I think, we passed 11,000 subscribers on YouTube on my main channel. We have almost 1,000 on my other channel, so please subscribe to the other channel if you haven't yet. If you like my content, you'll love my other channel, Designer Slash Gamer Plays. So uh, go and check it out if you can. Um, here's a link but also we have 2,000 followers on Twitch nearly 2,000 and I think are we at 11,000 I hope so I'm gonna sound really silly if we're not at 11,000 <gasps> are we yes oh we're over 11,000 oh my gosh you guys look at this so we have we have 11,000 Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> we have 11,067 subscribers now. Amazing. And thank you for liking the video. You're not that late. We just got started. Oh, yes. Moimus' builds are amazing. We've put a lot of Moimus' buildings in Bricksburg, and I'm telling you, they're incredible. Bricksburg is a community project, you guys. These buildings are from you guys, from me, from game developers from awesome people and uh it's a whole community project so this is not bricksburg is the culmination of a lot of talent and i can't wait to show you guys many of you have probably already seen it because if you've watched topple knots videos then you have seen brick lab this is only however half of brick lab so we're gonna pop you know some the rest of it on the back. I kind of want to turn it into a skyscraper. I wonder if he would let me. Hi, Ryan. Do you don't need to spam the chat? I see. I see. I see. I see. Hi, 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 hi. Okay. Don't spam. Don't spam. Um, DSG, can you play Fall Guys? I haven't played it yet, but we might play that in the future. I am, however, playing Among Us. And we have so much fun. We play with like 10 people usually or 9 people. And we have a great time. Uh, we're playing tomorrow on Twitch, so be sure to follow me on Twitch so you guys can come hang out with us. We have a great time. It's pretty funny. Okay, so let's get out of bat mode. We're going to finish Brick Lab, and then we're going to go check out the Labyrinth, you guys. Hi, me. We should be Max. Do you guys want to be Max or Sheila? One in the chat for Max, two in the chat for Sheila. What else do we have here? Santa Claus? We got Sheila's mom. We got somebody. We got Beach Sheila. We got an elf. Another elf. Scientist Sheila. And then the we have Draco. And then Custom Max? I guess. Okay, so one for Max, two. Oh, you guys want okay. That's a lot more twos than ones. There's no ones. Do you guys even like Max? Do you guys even like Max? What? Poor Max. He's gonna cry when he hears this. You haven't seen Sheila in ages. Well, here she is. The beautiful and talented. Anthro... Wait. Ar Archeal... Paleontologist. Sheila. <laughs> Max is cool, but Sheila is cooler. Yeah, Moimus? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna spin the sky. 
And we're going to finish building Brick Lab. Yay, Sheila. Yeah, she's pretty cool. It's funny, I did, was not intending to be this character for my first playthrough of LEGO World, but there she was, and it just kind of stuck. I was like, okay, well, she's cool. Why not? <laughs> All right, Sheila. Oof. Are you sure you can work on Brick Lab? I don't know if you have the necessary building skills to complete a project of this magnitude. Rosie? Rosie, you okay? What's going on, Rosie? Rosie, you're gonna rust. What are you doing in there? Rosie, your circuits are gonna completely rust. You need to get out of this water. I don't, she, maybe she's taking a bath? What is she doing exactly? I don't, I don't know what she's doing, you guys. <laughs> Sheila built a whole city. And then Max comes along like, ah, yes, I am a builder. <laughs> Build a city, then you call yourself a builder. <laughs> well, Max did build a beach house. So he did something. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get back into Brick Lab here. Brick Lab. Remember, if you want to see Brick Lab, if you want to build Brick Lab in your city, you can get it from... There's a link in the video description to Topplenaut's channel. You can go to his channel and he has links there to download Brick Lab. Or you can also get it from when you download the latest version of Bricksburg on my website, designer gamer.com. Okay, part three of four. And please, you guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Please do. That way you'll be notified of the next episode of season two. When I finish it, you'll be notified immediately and you can click really fast and watch it since you've had to wait very patiently for a very long time. <laughs> so you'll be notified right away. Okay, so this is part three. I believe it goes here. It's kind of hard to line stuff up, as you guys well know. But I think we can do it. Maybe. Don't quote me on that, though. Uh... Usually you want to go one up and then, uh, I'm going to have to turn off overlap though because it's going to, huh, that didn't work. I'm going to try turning overlap on actually. Oh, that's wrong. Okay. But we just have to go back. No, up. Up by one. Okay. Like that. Ah! Ha! Ha! I think we did it! I think we did it! Yes! No! We did not do it. That does not line up at all. Oh. It, is that the wrong... That's the wrong side! I'm so silly! That's why. <laughs> okay. We can do this, you guys. I'm funny. Oh, thank you, Luca. DSG, some people have restricted mode on and they can subscribe. They can't subscribe? Oh, yeah, I don't know what, what's up with that restricted mode stuff. I'm not really sure what that means exactly, but I've seen that before. You should make a battle bus up in the sky, like from Fortnite. That's a good idea. I should do that. You guys, we're going to start building Star Wars stuff soon. I think it would be cool to build in a desert area like Tatooine or something and then also like a cloud city you know something like that something up in the clouds I think L would like that okay is this the right no is that right yes 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 wow I'm good you think I've done this before or something a game I'm actually good at <laughs> Uh, part four. It's when you can't sub like and watch. Oh. Yeah, it. Well, I'm not sure why that. Why you wouldn't be able to sub to mine, but who knows? Yeah, if there's a restricted mode. You can't sub to anything. Well, at least you can come watch the videos. Hi, I'm Brazilian. Ooh, I don't understand what you say, but I like your channel. <laughs> 
Hola. <laughs> I bet you understood that. But thank you. I'm glad you like the channel. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Are we near where we need to be? What? How can I be so good at this? That's amazing. It lines up perfectly. This is such a cool building, you guys. I've always loved Brick Lab. I think we're under it. Let's skydive. Whee! We're going to land on the roof. So one of the things I love about uh, our friend Topplenaut here, he puts an incredible amount of detail into his buildings. And he does stuff that I've never seen before. And he uses he uses bricks in very clever ways, like this. Look at the way he made this pattern up here. I love that. So you can still see the gold and you can see the black through here and just by alternating the, the grill plate. So many cool ways to build. Okay, so let's go over here. We're gonna check out the inside of Brick Lab. And I love the way this whole thing is lit. It's just lit up so cool. So at night, it just looks really awesome. And even during the day, actually, it looks really cool. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, DSG, does Tia still come in the stream? She does sometimes. I know she's very busy, um, but she does come to the stream sometimes. I like the corners of the lab. They look so cool. Yes, I agree, Moimus. That is a really nice architectural detail there. And I love the lights behind, the way the lights light up the sign like that. It's a really nice facade on the building. Why is there a floating plant over there? Floating plant bin, I'm not sure why. Hello Fabio, how's it going? Do you play Roblox? I have never played Roblox. All right, I'm gonna open up my soda, you guys. I forgot I had one, but you know, you know what's weird? I can't even set it down, because look. That happened in the fridge. What? Like, what? I don't think it froze. It just, it's just, I don't know. Maybe I should get my Lego cup. Where's my Lego cup? Hang on, you guys. Let me get my Lego cup. Okay, well, I don't know where it is, but I did find my giant Lego. Yeah, I'm building a massive Lego house and, you know, like in real life. And I have all these huge Legos everywhere. I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> Just kidding. This is a storage bin. Isn't that cool? Giant Lego storage bin. I love it. Anyway, sorry. I digress. All right. What were we doing? We're building, aren't we? We're building. You should pour the soda in the Lego mug. Yeah, I can't find it. Oh, I think I see it. Hang on, hang on. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. But, oh, you know what? It, oh. Um, you know, I actually really like drinking out of cans. So we're going <laughs> to drink out of a can. Um, Moina says, fun fact, there are concrete blocks shaped like Legos. Oh, <gasps> that's so cool. What's your second name and what's your second name and age? What? <laughs> that's some personal information there. Um, I haven't shared my last name because I like to have some degree of, of, uh, privacy. But I will tell you that my age is somewhere between 20 and 40. <laughs> so I hope that helps you narrow it down. Hello, Jason. How's it going? What's your... <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so let's get back to work here. Hopefully this can will stay. Have it. Oh, wait, you know what I can do? Mm, no, I'm just going to put it right there and hope it stays. Okay. Uh, okay, let's check out Brick Lab. And then we're going to go check out the awesome labyrinth made by our friend Ben. Should we go into first person? It'll probably be easier for us to see in first person. And of course, we're going to go there at night because you know this place looks better at night. At least I'm sure of it. <laughs> and a credit card number. <laughs> At first when I played LEGO Worlds, I only liked Adventure Mode, but then I saw your Beach House video and I changed. Yeah? Well, I'm glad I could change your mind. Yeah, I like Adventure Mode too, but, you know, at some point you get kind of bored because you've pretty much done everything you can do in Adventure Mode. So then after, you're, after you get bored, it's like, okay, well, what am I going to do now? So then you realize the only thing you really can do is build, which is cool because, you know, that's... That's fine because it's Lego, right? And that's what you do with Lego. What I would love to see Lego do though, and I've said this before, but maybe you didn't hear. I would love if they would create, or TT Games, I guess, if they would create a game that is similar to Animal Crossing, but with Lego. So you could, you know, build and stuff and have a great little village, and, but it would be more like <clears throat> focused on the experience <clears throat> and a little bit less on just building, you know, like do do a little of both. I think that'd be really cool if they could do that. Somehow have an idea like that. Like you have a community, you build up the community, you use Legos to do it, um, Lego to do it. And uh, yeah, I think that'd be really neat if they could figure something like that out. Okay, so we're here at Brick Lab. So we probably need to wait in the chair here until we're called. You know, we made an appointment with someone. So hopefully they will come get us how long we're gonna have to oh okay i don't have a watch on shoot <laughs> what's sheila's last name um i don't think she has a last name she's kind of like madonna or Cher. she doesn't really have a last name <laughs> lego crossing yes wouldn't that be neat it should, TT should just make Minecraft with Lego. Yeah, that too. Just clone the whole game and replace the default blocks. Yes. So as a side note, I wouldn't want to see just a game like Animal Crossing Lego. I'd want to see something more expansive, you know, like just like that, like a game like Minecraft where you can actually <clears throat> build with like every Lego piece or at least as many as possible. And then you can share your models and stuff. That would be... I think that would be the most popular, like that would surpass Minecraft, I think, in popularity. Because everyone loves Lego. Okay, clearly, Sheila, no one's going to come greet us. So we're just gonna, we're gonna wander through Brick Lab on our own here. I hope we don't see any highly uh, sensitive information. Wow, look at the cool hallway. I feel like I'm on a spaceship. I feel like I'm on a spaceship. I would like to someday, you guys. If Whenever I get caught up on season, wow, on season two of Let's Play Lego Worlds, I have another idea for a space series. We'll see if I can ever get to that. This is amazing. And maybe I'll have Toppelnaut help me design the ship here because this looks fantastic. It looks like a spaceship. Whoa, look at this. So this is like an observation area, maybe. Okay, so that's where they build. That's where they do the, do the building down there and there's cameras. And this is an area where you can, like, watch the building happening. The big window right there. I'm guessing this goes around in a circle. Wow. Look at the lights, you guys. These lights are fantastic. And I wonder what those are for. Is that just a decoration on the wall? Or are those, like, maybe storage bays or something? Pretty cool, right? Uh, DSG is in lunchtime in your place. Um, it is still too early for lunch. I usually eat lunch around noon. So in about an hour and a half. My favorite part of yesterday was when you were doing your 10 push-ups. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. I have things you can redeem on, uh, on Twitch. You can make me do stuff for your channel points. And one of them is making me do push-ups. The other thing you can do is change... You can give me cool, like, 
Instagram or uh, Snapchat, Snapchat face, face filters. They're pretty cool. Um, okay, so this is Brick Lab. You know what I kind of want to do? I wonder if Top will not will mind. But I think it would be cool. Here, let's spin the sky because it's a little dark. I think it would be cool if we put something, something right here in the center. You know, something that they are building. Maybe could go here in the center. I don't know what though. What do you guys think we should put in the center? Maybe some kind of model? Some brick build? Inside it looks like Area 51, totally. Like that space, futuristic, modern look. Lucas says, my friend's names are Liam, Kaylin, and Marcus. Cool. We have a friend named Liam too. How did you download the app for Lego Worlds? Um, it's, this is the uh, Steam version. So I'm playing the PC version on Steam. Brick Fan says, I have this game for the Switch. It's awesome. Yes, it is an awesome game. This game is underrated. It is super awesome. What should we put in the center? It can't be too big. You know, it's got to be something like this size. I don't want to put this in the center because I want something cooler. But I'm thinking we put something in the center. Right? But I don't know what... Something they would be building or working on. Something really cool, but not too big. Like the little house. That's too big. Can't be as big as that. <gasps> too bad we can't put the Sphinx in there. That's way too big. Um, Put a robot. You know, there aren't really any small... At least I can't think of any small robots. Crystal? Yeah. That could be cool. You guys have some good ideas. Keep going. Keep a cake. Hmm. A snowman, you say? No. A dinosaur skeleton. No. That's a little too tall. I don't know what to put in here. Hillside house. Too tall. Oh, I wish this arcade was a little smaller. Because wouldn't that be neat? Um, hey, look, it's the bat. We got to do some cool stuff for Halloween, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Halloween's coming up. Hey, the beach house. Big ship. Ooh, will that fit? Oh, you guys. Who made this? Who made the big ship? Usually I have everything labeled by your names, but... Oh, no, it's too big. It's just a little bit too big. Shoot, that would have been perfect. Okay, we'll try another one. Alien Lab, another world. Gateway, whoa, that, it's like Stargate. That's a good idea. Got some of Moimus's models in here. Oh. We'll find something. We shall find something. Hey, I also, I don't know if Jaeger's here right now, but I also wanted to put a couple of his models in because he made some cool little cute dinosaurs. Look at the clown. The clown's too big. The clown is definitely too big. Oh, I love that thing. That's not going to work in there. Or will it? No, that's too big too. Hmm. I don't know, guys. That's one of Jaeger's models, a dinosaur. It's cute. Little dinosaur. Hey, look, it's the, the, the Duplo aliens. We could put them in here. No, they're too big. Wow. The DSG boat. Mm. You could put Emmett's house. You could try my Sky Raider. Hey, let's try that. Think that'll fit? Sky Raider by Moimus. This is it. Oh, looks like it might fit. It might fit. Oh, it's just a little too big. Maybe it'll fit if we drop it down. Oh, it's going to work. If I move it. Okay, let's see. The back fin is hitting that light. So if I move it over. What if we move it this way? 
I just gotta get around that light. It won't be centered. No, well, wait a minute. What if we move it backwards? Oh yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. I want to center it. Because <laughs> I love centering things. Or at least get it close to the center. Oh, it like fits perfectly. Is it touching the ground? Yes, now it is. Okay, ready? Let's drop it down. That's perfect. Uh, neat! Look at that! The Sky Raider by our friend Moimus here. Ooh, look at that! That's cool how you put the piston. That, uh, the, the spyglass thing as the piston. Look at that! Incredible helicopter. Sla Wait, not a helicopter. It's a, it's a airplane. Oh, yeah, this is the one that opens up the back and the vehicles come out. Look at this. I think I've seen it before, but I don't remember going inside. Look at the detail. We got a little computer screen right there. Got the, the cockpit area. Amazing. All right, you guys ready to go see the labyrinth now? Let's check out the rest of Brick Lab. I don't know if we saw it all yet. We might have seen it all. Did we go up here yet? Is this the other side? Okay, we have been up here. I don't think we've been down over there yet. Let's go down this way. Of course, that might just lead back to the front lobby. This way. Isn't Brick Lab amazing? So you guys can download. You can download this from Topple Knots uh, videos, or you can also get it from Bricksburg when I upload Bricksburg today on designer slash gamer.com. Amazing. I love it. What do you guys think? What do you think about Brick Lab? I think it's pretty amazing. Do you have any good tips for Switch games? Or do you, do you have any tips for good Switch games? Good Switch games. Uh, my favorite Switch game, probably Animal Crossing. Big surprise there. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Gosh, there's so many good Switch games. Um, I mean, I have a lot of the ones I already... Like, Luigi's Mansion 3, especially with Halloween coming up. Perfect. Um, check out my other channel, because I play a lot of Switch games on my other channel. And if you want to see... You can look at the different playlists and you can see how they play and if you want to get them or not. But I love my Switch. It's my favorite console I've ever owned. And I'm not usually a console gamer. I am a PC gamer. But I love, I love Nintendo. Okay, let's head to the labyrinth. I don't know what the quickest way is to get there, so we're going to fly. We're going to fly something. Can we steal something from Ninjago City? Let's sneak into Ninjago City and steal something that flies. That bridge doesn't go anywhere. Let's go this way. Let's steal something that flies. Maybe we'll go this way. Helicopter or airplane or something. Right. Um, bye, Carter. Thanks for joining. Oh, yes. I know about the Minecraft realm, Panda. We're actually going to... We're doing something new today. Because we can't seem to ever... <laughs> we can't seem to ever... Have a bedrock realm without without people destroying it. So we're going to do something new today. We're going to change our... We're going to change our... Uh, change up the series a little bit. Okay, where the heck is a thing to fly? We need something that will fly. I love Ninjago City. We may have to make something. Because I see nothing that will fly. Oh! Hi, Sheila. There's two Sheilas here. What's so funny? Other Sheila. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's just spawn in something that flies. Oh, <gasps> How about a pterodactyl? That's a great idea. A beautiful pterodactyl will fly us over there. Uh, where are they? Animals. A pterodactyl. A pteranodon.
If I can get on it. Come back! Come back! No! Come back! Hey! Come back! No, where are you going? Hi! Hi! Can you land right here for a second so I can hop on you? Hello! Hello! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come back! Come back! Oh, there we go. Q. Ah! He's still there? Hello? Huh? Come on, Sheila. You can catch up with him. He's not going very fast. Oh, I just saw the Q. Uh, Pteranodon? There he is. Hi! Q. Dang it! He keeps moving away! Q? Come on, come down closer to ground! Okay, well, you know what? We'll just put a new one down. <laughs> we'll try and jump on him a little faster. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Q, yes! No! Q! Ah! <laughs> okay, eventually we'll be able to do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Maybe this is why they didn't put him in the final game. Because they're really hard to jump on. Come on! Come on, come closer! Alright, this time it will work. This time it'll definitely work. Definitely, maybe. We just gotta be super quick, Sheila. Okay, come on. Yes! Come on! Yes! Yes! We did it! We did it! Of course, now it's all dark. Can't see anything. But that's okay. All right, so where is, where is Area 51? I think it's over this way. All right, here we go. Enjoy the flight, my friends. Lucas says, how do you get dinosaurs? Um, ooh, it's a long process. There's a whole, there's a whole chain quest you have to do. Um, I don't remember exactly how to do it. Um... But there's a whole chain quest. But if you type in in YouTube how to unlock dinosaurs, there should be a video that comes up. Or I think I unlocked dinosaurs in like episode 55 maybe back then. So you could watch that. You love my video. Thank you. Yeah, dragons are hard to unlock too. Let's see what Sheila looks like flying this thing. <laughs> She loves dinosaurs. And now that she gets to fly a pteranodon around, she's super happy. <laughs> All right. This dinosaur, though, is not part of the game. So you, Coles, K-O-L-E-S, did a whole, like, video, a couple videos on how you can add these to your game. If you're playing the PC version, there's a way to do it. All right, I think it's, is it over here? Yeah, I think I see it. Straight ahead. Bricksburg is huge, you guys. We have tons of space that has yet to be developed. So it's gonna get bigger. Um, Courtney, I think I might've missed your message because it scrolled away. Did you use a cheat code to unlock all the bricks or do you have them manually? So I don't actually have all the bricks. So when I, when I'm, this is, um, this is a sandbox world. So because this is a sandbox world, you can use any brick you want. But in my normal adventure mode game, I don't actually have all the bricks. Okay, how do we, okay, here we go. Here's the labyrinth. So we're going to go down. And we're going to hop off. I have used the code before, though, when I needed a certain brick that I didn't have. <laughs> I like the way they walk away. Um, I have used the code before to get the bricks. So I think it's like capital, what is it? B-R-I-K-S something. You can put the code in, and if you're playing in adventure mode, you can get access to all of the bricks that way. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's get our torch out, because this is going to be scary. 
And maybe we'll spin this guy just so we have a little extra light. Red flame torch. Okay, let's spin this guy first, actually. There we go. Okay. Um, welcome, Jaeger. How's it going? All right, where's our torch? Just had it. There we go. The red flame torch. I hope that our friend Ben here... Whoa, look at the faces! I hope our friend Ben here, um... Like, makes this into like a massive, scary, terrifying labyrinth. And it looks like that's what he's doing. But it'll be really cool to explore this when it's all done. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> that's from like the Mayan temples, I think. Or is that from the Egyptian ones? One of the Egyptian, the, the Egyptian throne? I can't tell. It looks awesome though. I love this entry. This is really coming along. Totally reminds me of Petra. Okay, so the door is over here, so we're gonna go this way. Through the door. Definitely made a lot of changes since I was here last. Sheila, get your torch back out. Are you? What are you doing? You need light in here. It's scary. It will be. Yeah, cool. It's looking great, Ben. So our friend Ben here in the chat, he's the one who made this labyrinth in Bricksburg. You want to visit Petra in real life? Me too. I was going to go there, was it last year? Well, we had plans last year to go there this year, but of course, with how things are going. Good morning, I hope you don't have tornadoes. We don't have tornadoes in Colorado, Courtney. I mean, I guess they can happen here, but they're very rare, and they're usually in the Eastern Plains. Yeah, there's some pretty bad ones out there. Courtney says we have episode 200. Episode 200. We Are you talking about the... We actually do have a, probably... Yeah, we have more than 200 LEGO Worlds episodes. We have 119 on the first season, 5 on the second season so far. And we have at least 40 Bricksburg episodes. And then designing and building, there's a lot of those too. So yeah, we're, we've got to be over 200 now. If that's what you're talking about. This is my favorite torch color. Yeah, this is a really cool torch color. I remember the first time I found a dungeon. It was so exciting going in there. The dungeon was a little bit of a letdown. <laughs> but just the whole idea that you're in a Lego dungeon is super cool. All right, so this looks like it got a little more complicated here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How are we gonna get through this? That's the perfect time to run. Exactly that moment. Oh. So now? <gasps> no, not now! <laughs> okay, Sheila, wait till I say. Now go, go, go! Go! Go, go, go! <gasps> oh. <laughs> Nicely done, Sheila. Um, yes, you did miss Brick Lab. We built it earlier. But you can always rewatch the stream after it posts. Um, yeah. So we'll we'll keep exploring this. <gasps> what we got a dislike? Why does someone dislike it? Oh, that wasn't very nice. Sheila, you got a dislike. <laughs> I don't care. They don't bother me at all. Alright, let's go in the door. And they actually help your channel just as much as likes do. So, you're if you dislike a video, you're actually helping that creator. But don't dislike the videos. <laughs> okay, so Ben, did you add more to the... Who knows? You like my haircut? Thank you, Panda. Hello, Vadim. How's it going? Uh, yes, this is I'm playing this on a PC um, Okay, so let's uh, where is it over here? I think it's down here huh? Careful Sheila. I think it's this way oh, Does that look new? Did you add some, like a cool bridge in here? I feel like that looks new. Is there anything new back here? Huh? Huh? See if there's anything new over here yet. Okay, nothing new over there. 
So we'll keep going this way. Huh. 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 This is a dangerous place. Good thing Sheila has so many hearts. Okay, I think it's down through here. It's kind of hard to see that. I remember last time I came in here, I didn't even see that. It's pretty well hidden because of the light around it. You can barely see that entrance right there. Okay, so now we're going to go down through here. Yeah, I love that it's a labyrinth. Like, that's going to be really cool. Like, just the idea of getting lost in an underground labyrinth is really exciting. So I can't wait until... Until you make, until you do make it bigger. But it's looking great. Look how far down it goes. It goes down to bedrock. Pretty much all the way down to bedrock it looks like. And you guys know how long it takes to build in this game. It is an exercise in patience. Building in this game. You gotta be patient. Hey Ryan, how's it going? Bricksburg's doing great. We're actually checking out something one of our friends built here, Ben, built a labyrinth uh, near Area 51. Oh. oh! Look at that! If you don't move fast enough, you get sliced and diced like a, like a, like a, like a piece of cheese. Sliced and diced. We barely made it out. Super long tunnel. Yes, it is a very long tunnel. And that's what's cool about labyrinths is they will branch off in different directions. And they go up and down. You can get lost. You know? Like, the, what's the story of the... I remember in school we would learn about the... In ancient Greece. The labyrinth that was under... Was it, was it Crete? Was it Crete? Anyway, the the... The legend, because it's I don't know if they know for sure there was a labyrinth down there, but you know, the labyrinth and the Minotaur and stuff. I was always so fascinated by that. Who created this? Our friend Ben here in the chat created this. Whoever disliked the stream should be put in the trash compactor. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Speaking of Star Wars, we are playing Star Wars Squadrons, you guys. On Twitch, the edited videos will come to YouTube, but we'll be playing Star Wars Squadrons on Switch day one, which is October 2nd. It comes out in a week. So come hang out, because I cannot wait. I love Star Wars. And it's a multiplayer game, so if you guys have it, you can play. You can play with me. All right, look at, the, oh my gosh, look at those beasties. <sighs> Let's go to Sheila's point of view. <gasps> look at those. Those are so cool with the red eyes. It kind of reminds me of the statues in the never ending story. You know, when he's going through the big, with the blue eyes, the big, those things. Squadrons. I'm so ready for that. Yeah? Me too. I can't wait. It's going to be fun. You love Area 51? Good! 7,000 likes and I will explode. 7,009 likes. <laughs> I don't think any of my videos have 7,000 likes. I think my most watched video, the first, the Let's Build Jurassic World, the first part, I think has like 300,000 views and I think it has a couple thousand likes, but nothing like 7,000, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I feel like there's something new here. Because we saw this last time, but I see something back there. Oh, it's a little hallway behind the jaw. Do we dare go in? Do we dare? I don't know if we dare. We have to though, right? We can't go back. <laughs> we got to keep going. <gasps> Where are you, Sheila? <gasps> are we in the jaw? We're in the jaw! Look at how the teeth look. That looks awesome. With the teeth. 
Ooh, neat. You put lights behind the grill plates. I love that look. We made it. We made it to the end. Ooh, look at the floor. That's nice. Look at that. This is really coming along, Ben. It's looking great. I love it. We are going to have an entire massive labyrinth in Bricksburg. So once I'm done with the stream, Ben, you can check you can check out Bricksburg, the file. You can check it out, download it, and you can keep working on your labyrinth if you want. Everyone who doesn't subscribe, they are... St what? <laughs> uh, Corey says, scary. I hope that was fantastic, but I might have a little bit more trouble. Yeah, it, it might be scary to get... Th yeah, you're talking about getting through the part with the fire. We have to, Sheila, we have to go, you, do you hear Sheila, you guys? She's so scared. <laughs> Sheila, we gotta go back through there. We gotta go back through there. Can you do it? She doesn't seem very certain that she can do this, you guys. I'm worried about her. Sheila. Keep it together. You can do it. No one's behind you. Quit looking, I, why, I don't know why she keeps looking behind her. <laughs> Ryan, your last comment scrolled away, so I can't see it anymore. Did you know you can make elevators in LEGO Worlds? How do you do that? Good laughing. Good, Jaeger. Hi, Jaden. Okay, guys, let's try and go back through. I don't know if we can do it. Come on, Sheila, you can do it. <laughs> you like how one second I'm like, I don't know if we can do it the next second. I'm like, come on, Sheila. You can do this. You got this. Alright. <gasps> oh, okay, I feel like we need some scarier music. Let me find some scarier music for this. Because we definitely need some scarier music. Um, Games. Lego Worlds. Do I have some scary music? Maybe I don't. Oh, here we go. Action music. Okay. I found some good music, you guys. Let's turn this up a little bit. There we go. Now we got some music that's appropriate for a scene like this. Okay, Sheila. Watch out! No! Don't get sliced! Huh! Do you guys think she'll make it on the first try? Who bets that Sheila will make it out of here on the first try? Who bets? Who do you think? Yes or no? Say in the chat. Yes or no? Will she make it out on the first try? I mean, not just through here, but out of the entire labyrinth. All the way out. Yes? You think so? What? Jaden, yes, we'll definitely build some stuff for Halloween, for sure. Okay. Nope. <laughs> well, I hope I can prove you wrong, Vadim. Ready, Sheila? Go run, run, run! Hey, at least we got past that part. Come on, Sheila. Uh, uh. You'll have to, like, randomly, Ben, randomly put some monsters in here. Of course, they won't fight you in event, you know, in sandbox mode, but still. Just to make it a little scarier. Dun, dun, nah, nah. We're never gonna make it out, you guys. We're never gonna make it out on the first try, especially. There's no way we might. We just might. <gasps> okay. Be careful, Sheila. Careful. Don't fall. Okay, at least we got through that part. You guys, my nerves. <laughs> Gulp. <laughs> 
You became a swamp creature and make a tower of slime and then you walk into it. What? <laughs> you bet 5,000 studs, Ryan? <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we gotta climb up this ladder. You guys, we're halfway out. We can do this. We can do it, Sheila. Come on. We can do it. How do we get back over there? <gasps> the little lava! Nice, Sheila. Good job. She's doing great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, Sheila. Here's the moment of truth. It's okay. You can do it. You'll be fine. Don't look at that skeleton. He didn't make it out, but you will. Okay, Sheila, go! Run! Run, Sheila! No! No! Oh. Sheila. <laughs> so she did not make it out on the first try. Unfortunately. She did not <laughs> make it out on the first try. <laughs> but she's doing her best. She's doing her best here. Second try, maybe? Second try? Where's my 5,000 studs? Well, if I could send you studs, I would totally do it. Okay. okay it's gotta be the... When's the perfect time to go? Pretty much... Uh, you gotta wait for the... That was the perfect time to go. The right after the spikes go down. The whole thing resets. Maybe. Oh, you know, it changes every time because they're all timed differently. Sheila, I don't know about this. <gasps> no! Sheila! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going. Oh. oh, you made it! <laughs> Barely. Barely. You could have become totally barbecued there, Sheila, but you made it. And you didn't get skewered. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. It's looking great, Ben. Did we miss anything? I got them offset just for you. Well, thank you. <laughs> for making it harder. <laughs> You should make a video of all the brick builds you have. I want to port, port them to console since I have both. I don't think you can do that. Oh, you mean like make them? You mean like remake them in console? We could probably do something like that. If I were to make a giant flat world, like the size of Bricksburg, like a huge one, I could probably place every brick build. It's a good idea for a video. Most of them anyway. I like that idea. Just like placed. It's a good idea. We did it! Oh my gosh, we did it! And now, Sheila, you have earned... You've earned a spot in the chair. Because you did it. Look at her. <laughs> she did it. Sorry I'm late. Oh, you missed the whole stream, Kim. We're about to end the stream soon here. The wall isn't done, but uh, you should look at some point. Yeah? Which wall? Did I miss one of the walls? Wow. I like the detail you added up here, too. I feel like that's new. This is awesome. And the way you built it into the ground here is really nice. You know, you got all this ground and all of a sudden right in there is a really cool entrance for a labyrinth. Yes, I will post the correct world file <laughs> after the stream. <laughs> hey, Bernardo. Yeah, you're late. We're about to end the stream. <laughs> I got to go eat lunch. Because we are having another stream in about an hour. We're playing Minecraft on Twitch, so come hang out with us. Alright guys, I will see you next time.
Thank you for watching. Bye guys. Hey Pugsy, how you doing? I am functioning within normal parameters. How are you, Shyla? Shyla? Uh, her name is Sheila. Just so you know, Pugsy. <laughs>
Sheila, did you hear that? What is that sound? <gasps> oh my gosh. You guys, there's a bear attack. You guys left all the food out. Are you guys crazy? There's a bear attack. Oh my gosh. <sighs> you guys, the bears are gonna eat all of our food. <sighs> Wild style. Did you leave the food out? Oh man.